So what, what band does Sinister Gates play for? Avenge Sevenfold. Ha <laughs> ha! You thought you'd catch me out there. Yes. I know. Avenge Sevenfold. I just want to insert my golden oh, shaft. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Greetings, I'm Sinister Gates. And I'm the captain. And together we form the team at Anderton's here in the UK and we make videos for you uh. about things that are exciting, such as the fact that Anderton's now sells Shakespeare. <laughs> Yes, I went to the NAMM show at the beginning of 2014 and whilst looking at all the glorious guitar stands that I found, I guess I'd had a sort of, not a tainted view, but I know, as you guys probably know, you had a taint. that the same guy that owns ESP also owns Schecter and that a lot of the models kind of look quite similar and I kind of, we already carry ESP, so I thought, well, what's the point of doing Schecter? And then well, I we went could do lots of really cool like versus videos. We could. Yeah. And then I went into the Schecter booth and I kind of got it because the, it was like, Whereas ESP, great guitars, but they kind of, um, I think ESP have a more middle of the road kind of vibe. You know, they still see themselves as perhaps a sort of a Japanese kind of taken quite seriously kind of guitar brand. And Schecter, I think kind of went, look, we're a guitar for metal players. And the branding was all kind of just like very metal. And so some of the finishes and the hardware options and the pickup options were just more suited to that kind of vibe. And I sort of twigged, you know what? Although some of the guitars are similar shapes, it is going to appeal to a very different kind of guitar player than an ESP. Also, so it's just a different brand, isn't it? it? Some people just like the brand of Schecter and some people prefer the brand I, of ESP. I think anything that starts with SCH, you know, is, it's, you know, like Schindler. Schweppes. Schweppes. Schweppes, that's not got a C in it, has it? Yes. Has it? I don't know. I don't someone, know. someone, please tell um, me. I think it does. But you know, so I kind of think it's cool, and it's got plenty of heritage. Funnily enough, not a dissimilar heritage to, to ESP, and that it started back in the seventies, like a seventies as like a parts company. So was a, it seventy two? Seventy six. Seventy six. Um, by David Schechter, Dave to Dave. his mates, and uh, you know some quite famous players. I think probably someone like Mark Knopfler is one of the most famous guys for sort of having one of those early Schechter uh, parts guitars. Brand uh, sort of uh, changed hands a couple of times but it ended up basically being owned by the same guy that owns ESP and being uh, and the president of Schecter is a guy called Michael I'm, can't, I'm not even going to try and attempt to pronounce his surname Shivala or something like that and he's the guy that's kind of responsible really for the direction that Schecter have taken in, in more recent years which is this very kind of metal kind of vibe well yeah, spearheaded online if you're a YouTube fan and I know I am and Captain is by players such as Keith Murrow <laughs> and Jeff Loomis. Absolutely. This is the Gareth G -G 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 Gates model. No, sorry. <laughs> it's uh, the Sinister Gates Silas model. Strigates. <laughs> Obviously, there's hundreds of guitars in the Schecter range, and we're not going to try and take you through them. It was more, more just a case of telling you guys in YouTube land that if you're a Schecter fan, you can now purchase these guitars from Yeah, Anderson's. this is just yay Anderton's now Sir Schecter. Here are a few Schecters, I guess. So we've got a Sinister Gates, we've got a Hellraiser, we've got a Demon, we carry Omens, Banshees, Black Jats, Hellraisers. I said Hellraiser already, didn't I? Quickly, so anyway. activate the bonus cam and show them the size of these magnets. I just, I just, but you see, here's my fingertip, and here's the magnet. They are enormous. They are enormous now magnets. these are Seymour Duncan Invaders. They actually look like they've got sort of like rivets rather than pole pieces, don't yeah. they? Or bullets. Maybe that's what they are, tone bullets. They're invading the land of tones. Let's go down doing. the neck to check out the uh, the inlay. Look, scary scar with wings. Y N. You didn't think what did you think? Or you saw it said N V S N A S. <laughs> so there it is. So oh, what's he got on the headstock? Another skull with a top hat on. So we're playing through a Marshall JVM. And it's, oh, look at the mess behind you, look. This is Don't show happened. them the mess Sorry. behind me, they're going to think um, it was my fault. It's, it is. It's never my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Bodywood, turn that amp off. Sorry. 
is oh. alder. Is it really? Yes. That's interesting. The top is carpet, <laughs> and the uh, the metal is made from, you know when you crush up bottle tops and you compact them down into a product, that's what this is made from. Wow, that's really tops. interesting. And there's a cardboard tag, free of charge I might add, that says single coil humbucker you know push what? I here. I do think, I don't know who's to blame for this, but I think they could do a better job of informing us that these have got single coils rather than the... Like just telling us slightly, and then we find that out by just well, pressing no, I just it. think it's, they could have nicer tags. Do you know what every guitar player does when they pick up any guitar ever? What? Is they go... Just to check. Just to check. Every single guitar player. And if they don't do that, then you should start doing that. But so, yeah, plays what, great. Uh, I, I think we should try and hear some. Um, there's no point in trying to do a clean demo on this guitar, is there? Oh, it's in tune. I think that's a. <laughs> did, did I get Did I get <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Anyway, oh, the, man, that the was worst fun. chorus pedal in the world effect. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's the Sinister Gates. Do we want to make this a quick video or a long video? <laughs> Next! Let's move down one. Let's go for the Hellraiser, which looks a little bit like the kind of shape that you might get on, uh, on like an MH... Um, what, are you, what are you saying? It's a bit like a Horizon. Um, strung through body, very nice. Again. Lee, this is the Schecter. Schecter. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking anything he says unless he puts it through on a jammy dodger pack. Electric that's guitar. Like, oh. It's an electric guitar in black and it's for £719. <laughs> and that's the jammy dodger that says. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Do you feel better? This is it is the same one. It's like when a magician signs his name on the back of a card. That's what Adam did on the back of a biscuit. Oh, here he is. Are we, are we, do we think these are EM, the classic EMG? Um, they look like they are, mate. Yeah, 80, 81 and 85. There's, there's the dust collecting hole there. Just to give you an idea of the neck, it's the same as a Horizon. <laughs> and it feels nice. It's nice and rounded. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Shakespeare. Same factory as ESP. Um, incidentally, same factory as a brand called Chapman. Can we do one video without mentioning <laughs> uh, No, but it feels great. <laughs> lovely, lovely little volute down here. I'm a fan of a nice volute. And um, let's play I had play a girlfriend it. that played the volute one. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> you hold that. And we'll... <laughs> Who's that in the corner, Rob? That's... <laughs> Is that Maggie? It's... Uh... <laughs> I can't think of something politically correct yes, or that wouldn't offend my girlfriend. Is she, uh, so. there's a, that's the glory hole, isn't it? In the actual room and Adam there, very, no. very short man on the outside is currently... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Everything I'm thinking in my head is staying in my head and not coming out of my head. It's very nicely. Yeah. Who uh, wants actually, to see the settings we've got the Marshall set to? We're not. Oh, we are using a Marshall. Yeah, I want to see the settings we're setting the Here Marshall we come. to. Look, we use a JBM 210C and we're using the yellow overdrive mode with actually not that much gain because uh, too much gain at low volumes equals fizzamaloo. <laughs> fizzamaloo? Yes. Fizzamaloo. You heard it first here, kids. Fizzamaloo. Right. Let's uh, play the other guitar. Let's play the other one. Right, so this is the uh, from the uh, Demon range. What's the exact model? It says on the Demon, swing Demon 1. Uh, Demon it's the Schecter Demon 6FR electric guitar in vintage white. So this is a bolt-on guitar, uh, still with active pickups, although these are now uh, Duncan designed this active time, pickups. This time, the difference is this is made in Indonesia. In Indonesia. Yeah, same place that makes Faith Acoustic oh, look, guitars. This has got locking machine heads on the back. This has actually got Schecter locking machine heads on Ooh. the back. Look. Um, I prefer the feel of this neck because it's not finished. It's nice and <sighs> natural wood. Yeah. I like that. I do like that. Shame about the bolt on. Uh, Lee, would you mind Why? filming this? Why? Well, it's just. Hang this on. This has just got a bit. You know, you've Clap. got to give. Ready? Wait, wait, do it together. There you go. That's better. Uh, it's just a bit square and chunky. 
and you've got to give an objective opinion and I think this plays great and sounds nice but that's a little bit square and clunky. So what would you have done perhaps chamfered well, something I would have, like this off there and just, just tried to, to maybe make a three bolt or something? just would have made know, it better. Put, put, the, put a five <laughs> bolt. Who is it? I think it might be Music Man or something do a nice plate. It might be Fender actually. Well you just get rid of the plate and do recessed bolt on and then you, you smooth it around. But it does sound and play really nicely actually I have to say. Oh hang on. Do you want your wingle wanger? Uh, uh, okay. Hang on. Yeah. Sorry. Do you, do you want me to? Yeah, you do. I'll do it for you. Do you notice? The, did you? Did you like? You didn't laugh at the name I gave it. No. I, I <laughs> <laughs> Is that because you're going to cut that out? <laughs> no, I'm just going to use it as a sample like this. Wingle wanger. Wingle wanger. <laughs> <laughs> wanger. I'm a big fan of Emble Emble the hunk of Bingle Wingle wanger. <laughs> Dear Schechter, we're sorry. No, I think this is. I think this is the whole. You know, the day the day you start taking yourself super seriously as a guitar player is the day where you should have become a, a bass bank. player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just want to point out that Lee said that, and it in no way reflects anything that I would think. Ready? Okay, turn me on. on, buddy. Turn me on, buddy. £159, that's a bit of a bargain really, it's a lot of guitar, a lot of guitar, Floyd Rose Special, Duncan designed EMGs. I'm going to switch this one off, we the main camera. See what I'm doing, I'm doing what I tell you guitar players always do, is you just check them to see if they pull, they don't pull. But it has got that way, or that way, or that way fully included. That is great value. Locking tuners, it's got a nice feeling neck. Yeah, I'm in locking nut. What the f <laughs> ever? It's got a little Demon 6 FR thing there. And it's from the Diamond series. Yeah. Prefer the way this feels to the way that feels. Really? Yeah. Well, that's just a bolt on thing versus. That's no, sorry, it's the that's neck. A, a finish, it's the neck, unfinished. man. You play that neck. It's a nice neck shape. They've got a good neck shape, I'll give them that. Do you know what? A lot chunkier than I thought it was going to be. It's a proper neck, man. With a nice big thick chunk of rosewood on the top of it as well, yeah. isn't it? It's not like a little veneer or anything. It is a proper. Well, we presume lump. it's rosewood, but I, it probably is. It probably is. And now, now play that neck and tell me which one you prefer the feel of. Of course, this is an entirely this subjective. Lighter. This feels a lot lighter. It's absolutely guitar, subjective it? thing. The, the, in terms of the profile of the, of the neck and everything, I, it, I don't don't have don't dislike it. But I, I think if anybody's and this is no nothing against Schecter, this is just a, a, an observation about guitar design, but if you buy a guitar that has a lacquered back of the neck, expect it to feel a bit stickier than if you just buy a guitar that has a, yeah. um, a, a you know natural wood finish. Well, of the there. three that I've played here, the Sinus Trigates is the uh, best playing. But well, this has got... That, it is the yeah. one, yeah. <laughs> but this has got a great, great little neck yeah. on it for 359, and that's an absolute bargain. So, kind of, that was it, really. What you probably, if, if we're lucky, our nice editing man would have sort of, and perhaps if, if he hasn't done it, oh, it's you now. Yeah. Um, well, and Dan, we did it together. We, uh, we should show you some examples of sort of the Schecter range sort of going across the screen at different points through the video, because as I said, there are hundreds of the guitars in, in the range, lots of different colours, left-handed models, all kinds of stuff. Uh, they're all on the Andersons website, or you can go to the Schecter website if you just want to, you know, see yeah. nice shiny images and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I must say, I think this is the first time we've put the JVM through the 412, isn't it? It is. That's and a the, It's like a vintage 30 loaded Victory 4x12. Yeah. And it's definitely the best sound that we've had out of that Marshall since we've been doing videos, I think. It's the best time we've used it through the 412 from Victory. The best time or the first time? <laughs> Both, that's the joke. Both of them. That's the joke, Sorry. Lee. Yeah, it's Sorry. fine, it's fine. I'm um, Rob. Okay, and I'm the captain. See you later. See you later.